beep, 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 beep. News flash, news flash. You may or may not have heard this important piece of Asian basketball news. Jeremy Lin's a Charlotte Hornet. We're the Fun Grows Plus Richie Lee, and here's a Jeremy Lin edition of Asian, Asian Guys, guys talk, talk About the NBA. NBA. For the first time in his career, Jeremy Lin was an unrestricted free agent. Which means that his contract was up and that he could sign to any NBA team in the world, provided they wanted him to. And for those of you who need to get up to speed, remember, Jeremy Lin was a New York Knick, and then he was a Houston Rocket, and then he was a LA Laker, and now he's a Charlotte Hornet. Why, Why did he, he sign, sign to the, the Hornets? Hornets? According to Jeremy, his decision was based on the fact that theoretically the Hornets should let him play more of his style than his previous two teams. And what exactly do we mean by playing Jeremy Lin style? Jeremy Lin really likes time to control the ball and have the ball in his hands, and also to do a high pick and roll with a big man. He also likes to attack the rim a lot, also needs a little bit of leeway when it comes to the turnovers. Jay Lin likes to play up-tempo and sometimes even reckless. And while Jay Lin's on the Hornets, he's supposed to be able to play this way with the second unit. So, so is, is this good for Jeremy? Jeremy? I think it's good for Jeremy Lin because in the Western Conference, there's better teams and actually a lot more better point guards, so now he's in a weaker conference. So his numbers could be a lot better. It could be good for Jeremy because the Charlotte Hornets are a way smaller market team. They have no Asian population. They have way less media and less spotlight, meaning less pressure, and that could be good for Jeremy. Play free! Kimball Walker, the point guard that Jeremy Lin will be backing up, is a little bit reckless himself, so that means there might be an opportunity for Jalen to take that starting spot. I don't know. Plus, believe it or not, the Hornets are actually a playoff team in the East, so that's always good. Jalen in the playoffs again? That's always fun to watch. But, just like everything else, it's gotta be a mutually beneficial relationship, so how does Jeremy Lin make the Charlotte Hornets better? Believe it or not, Jeremy Lin can run an offense, and the Charlotte Hornets need help offensively. Especially in the second unit, Jeremy Lin's gonna be setting up Frank Kaminsky, Cody Zeller, and Spencer Hawes. What Jeremy Lin did for Ed Davis, Ashik, Tyson Chandler, Steve Novak, and Landry Fields, he's gonna be able to do for the Hornets second unit. Contract-wise, Two years, 4.3 million. That's a pretty good bargain for a solid point guard that could potentially really run the offense. And it's good for the Hornets organization as a whole because it elevates their brand to a global level because pretty much like a billion people from Asia are gonna be following the Hornets this season and buying a lot of jerseys. I can already see it now. The Mitchell and Ness Hornets J. Lynn throwback with the great fives. I always thought the Hornets jersey was pretty cool. They, hey, they already had one of the best snapbacks. They do. I am not saying Jeremy Lynn's the greatest Hornet at all, but he is definitely the most high profile Hornet since Muggs. Bogues and Larry Johnson. All right, as is with any good side, there is a bad side. So, so what's, what's bad, bad about, about it? it? For Jeremy, a bad thing could be that he's in a smaller market now with not that many Asians, so even less people are gonna be following his every move. But then again, that could be a good thing. So right now, it seems like the coach of the Hornets has a defensive mindset, but actually none of the players on the Hornets are defensive players, including Jeremy. So it makes more sense that they switch directions and be a more offensive-minded team. Another thing is the increased media could be a double-edged sword. It could lead to a lot of distractions that would take away from the pure performance basketball aspect of it. And I guess if you're a Charlotte Hornets fan purist, you may not like the increased presence of LOFs. Lynn only fans. A Lynn only fan pretty much blames anything bad that happens to Jeremy on the team and feels that the team should cater the entire system around making Jeremy successful. Pretty much a LOF believes that Jeremy Lynn could do no wrong. And if you are a hardcore fan of the team before Jeremy Lynn gets on the team, then you really hate this type of fan because you don't see them as a true fan. And in a way, they're kind of not. Hey yo guys, are we LOFs? I, I kind of consider myself at least partially a nerdy Asian guy, so I'm supporting Jeremy wherever he goes. A lot of people always ask us, why do you guys support Jeremy Lin so much? And it's because he's the only full Asian in the NBA. Shout out to Jordan Clarkson, he's half. Shout out to Sat Nam Singh, he's in the D League right now. But as far as right now, Jeremy Lin is the only Asian in the NBA. I don't know if people fully understand how difficult and how special that is. They're not only an Asian, but an Asian American guard that's not seven feet tall is in the NBA. I do not know when we're gonna get another good Asian American to make it to the NBA, so I'm trying to support the one we got while he's here. There's only been a couple of Asians in American history in the media that have affected how Asian Americans get treated on a day-to-day -day basis, and Jeremy Lin is one of them. And media really affects how people think about each other. So that's why it's important that we have Jeremy Lin, and that's why I support him. Basically, if you guys understand it or not, iconic media figures have a ripple effect in society. So for me, on more of a personal level, I I know I played a couple years of high school basketball, and back then you used to get called now a bunch of names and stuff, but I know with Jeremy, being in the NBA and whatnot, I know he's given a lot of people that are trying to go out for the basketball team a lot of confidence, so I rock with him. So a last couple fun facts about Jeremy Lin playing for the Hornets is, he's gonna be playing for Michael Jordan, who's a partial owner of the Hornets, and number two, it was the only Asian general manager in the NBA, Rich Cho, who signed him to the Hornets. Maybe an Asian hookup? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video. To be honest, we're just happy that Jeremy Lin got to pick where he wanted to go in free agency. Hopefully, he's with a team and system that's the right fit for him. And regardless of what happens this season, we're going to be watching and supporting. So with that said, go, go Hornets. Hornets. All right, thank you for watching that Jeremy Lin video. Throughout the years, we've made a lot of Jeremy Lin material, and we finally met him. And I consider ourselves...
close friends. As Asian guys who love basketball, man, it just means so much because there's so few of us playing basketball at that level. Check out this video right here. Check out that video right there. Click the subscribe button below. Check yes. out our shirts at clonebrothers.com. In the comments below, let us know what you think about Jeremy Lin going to the Hornets. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.